Well, this means people from all over the world are in Indianapolis as Gen Con makes its return to 2022. The four-day gaming convention is a major event for the city. News 8's Cody Adams joining us now live at the convention center where the event is taking place. Cody. Yeah, Phil, it's it's hopping down here. Lots of people out and about. For the next four days, gaming enthusiasts will be all over the area, here through Georgia Street, all the way up into the Visitor's Convention Center, taking part in everything from classic games like Dungeons & Dragons to other tabletop games, all the way to virtual reality. It's, uh, it's a must-do a must every year. Mark and Tracy have been coming all the way from Canada to Gen Con in Indy for five years now. Tracy says she likes Gen Con more than other conventions like Comic Con. Gen Con revolves around all of those and then every aspect of every game and everything that could be associated with a game. Mark says he thinks it truly is something everyone should check out. Even if you're not into gaming, it's a place to come and visit. It's a bucket list thing for sure. Like you yeah. just have to see it. The four day event is filled with costumes, exhibits, and of course, a whole lot of gaming. I'm very much into D&D. I love 3.5. Um, the Bob Ross games have my heart <laughs> as well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, like <laughs> yeah, I'm very much a d and game, tabletop game, video game. If you didn't understand anything they're talking about, that's okay. Mark and Tracy say there are plenty of people there to help you out. We've been here a few hours. We've met six people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like You can literally walk on the street, get interviewed, talk to people. Atmosphere is amazing. The atmosphere is also the reason people like Christine Allen and her granddaughter Quinn are in Indy. And this is the cool grandma. She does a lot of conventions, and this year I got invited to tag along with her to Gen Con. Christine says it's definitely a family affair now. It's actually pretty cool to have my grandchild here because it's my only grandchild, so I, it's nice to be able to share something. We've seen a lot of families walking around here taking in the festivities. You can still get a ticket. The convention ends on Sunday. You are going to have to wear a mask. You're also going to have to have proof of vaccination to get in. Reporting live in downtown Indianapolis, Cody Adams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.